Welcome back. We are continuing coverage of the 2018 Golf Industry Show here in San Antonio, brought to you by GCSA TV in partnership with Lebanon Turf, and we are wildlife packed and natural resources and BMP packed. I'm boy joined by Delphine Singh of Land Seer. Yes, Land Seer. Land Seer. Delphine, last time we were talk to you, talking, you were working with another leadership organization, Audubon International, and at that point you had developed this wonderful coloring book for young people that it looks like now I can see things sitting here, you've expounded upon that. I felt early on this was a great way to engage young people in Thank golf. Thank you. Thank Never you. Never mind the environment, just in Don't golf. Don't mind the environment a environment little bit, yes. And golf. <laughs> yes. So what made you start to do this on your own? Thank you, and congratulations congratulations on last night's achievement. It's great. Thank you very great. much. Appreciate and that. Thank you. Um, so I was, I'm very, very proud to help Audubon International to start their own, um, their first coloring book. And then afterwards, I thought this is something that I really, really want to focus on. So I started to um, have this idea and I thought, hey, this is something I want to do on my own and I just really want to focus on golf, on the environment and how to connect these together because you know how much I love golf, how much I love nature, how much I love working with superintendents, so much I marry one. That's exactly right. Congratulations yes. on you. your nuptials, right? Thank you. you are now wedded to the Bethpage State Park like I've been for the last 20 <laughs> yes. years. Yes, yes. <laughs> we'll have to share Andrew Wilson. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so great for that. So it looks like it's a little bit more than that. It, it looks like when I prepared for us to get together, knowing what the business is now, it's it's also a lot about telling a story, right? You're Absolutely. trying to help superintendents tell the story about the environment. And I can tell you how critical that is because I think sometimes superintendents view interacting with the environment that they do all, you know, natural resources and touting it to the membership almost at risk. Listen, you're paid to be a golf superintendent. What are you talking to me about the birdhouses for? What are you giving me coloring books for? How are you helping superintendents do that with this new venture? Absolutely. So superintendents are doing great things already. And we know that. GCSA know that. BMP people know that. But golfers don't. And we can't just keep telling each other how, what a great things we're doing. It's kind of like preaching the choir. Yes. So we have to talk to our golfers. And the picture that you can see here on the monitor, that was us, Lancier, at the TPC Potomac. We are working with Mr. Stephen Britton. And we created these coloring books that we work with him on every single animals that you get to see on the Potomac. So and this is tailored, tailored to the golf yes, course. Yes, yes, absolutely. It, so you can, they can engage with you. Yes. You can look at the wildlife they have on their property and then develop something just for that golf course. Absolutely, and the kids will love to go out because we have a golf bingo page. So they can go out and now when, they're, when their parents are following Kuchar, when following Adam Scott, well, because I want to follow Adam Scott, so that's why I always say Adam Scott. <laughs> They can go out and see what kind of animals they get to see, and they get a bingo, and they come back to our booth, we give them a little gift. So, so you're doing this at tour events? At tour events, and not only we're working with the spectators, their parents, we're working with the PGA Tour player as well. So that's CT Pen, that's my good friend. He is from Taiwan, and he's playing on the tour. And, and he was, so he will bring some of his tour player friends to come to my booth and color with the kids. And they, the tour players who will play golf for living, they are so surprised to find out how many animals that's calling this course home. So they were super excited. So that's, uh, that's CT there, but he also brought over Wesley Bryant, and he was super excited. He, and then, um, um, who else? Henrik, Henrik Stenson. He's ah, with his good piercing blue eyes. He was telling me, you're doing a great job. And I was like, yes, sir, thank okay, you. Okay, and he's yes. a little imposing figure. So is this the method that you're using to sort of help start the dialogue between the golfers who play at Rob Bigley's course here at Pine Haven where you develop the thing? You're, you're, you're sort of working it with the tour to raise the profile, but you're also working with the superintendents to communicate at their club. Yes, absolutely. So this is the one that we made for Pine Haven. So everything, again, is custom made. Let's see if we can see um, what we're doing Wow, look there. at all this cool stuff yes. you're doing. So this is what you we're doing that stuff for, way too fast. I will me. go back. I will go back because that features my dear husband. And the, so this is what we are doing for Pine Haven. And oh, you can see Mr. Bigley's smile. That's right. 
sir. So There's he approached proof. you as a means of developing a program for the youth. Yes. Not necessarily young people interested in golf, but using the golf course as a way to, to help the student, the kids understand the natural world. Absolutely, because can you talk to a kids about BMP? You can, but I don't think they will understand. But if you talk to them about the salamander and say, great water quality, that's why Salamander can call this place home, that's BMP, and they will bring it back to their parents and say, you know what Mr. Bickley was telling us today, you know what we saw, and that's, that's what we're doing. So we are trying to bridge the communities between not only just superintendents and their membership, but also the golfing world and the non-golfing world. I want people to be able to come back to the public who are criticizing golf is not doing that great environmentally, you have to say, hey, that's not true. When's the last time you saw a salamander in the urban area? I bet it's on a golf course. When's the last time you saw a bald eagle nesting? I bet it's on a golf course. So you're out there doing this yes. with the tour players, Boots with superintendents. Ground. Yes. What kind of interaction and feedback are you getting? What, what have you learned so far uh, as we've sort of, as you've been doing this now for how long? A year? A year. And look at these lovely smiley. F they are so excited. And not only um, the not only the kids are excited about it, the parents are super excited about this because that gives them an ex not excuse, but a story to tell their friends who don't know golf. And they are just so, they are so relieved to find out that golf is doing great environmentally. So, so is it somewhat too that the young people aren't playing golf, but the parents want to play golf. Yes. They take the young people out with them. They take the book with them. Instead of walking and watching professional golf, they can play bingo while their parents are golfing yes. and engage about the natural world. So you, I'm assuming you're getting positive feedback. That's why you oh, expanded this program. Super positive. And that is why I named my company Lancier. Lancier is a breed of a dog, it's a Newfoundland, and that's my dog, and she's the most positive thing I've ever, ever known. So I want to name my company after the most positive thing, and that's my dog. So, and I'm sure everybody so, here will agree. So, so, <laughs> well, we've been talking a lot about dogs on this stage so far. We've had dog videos, we've had dogs corralling yes. geese right behind yes. us here. So obviously, we're trying to promote the connection between the golf course and the natural world yes. to young people. So what's in store for 2018, right? You had your first year under your belt. You took a wonderful idea that I thought was brilliant from the Thank very beginning. You. And now you sort of ventured off. Is it just going to be a lot more of this or do you have other parts of Landseer? Absolutely. So next year, we have a three-prone approach. We can talk to the tournament host for PGA Tour and we have golf course managers, so that's superintendents and their GMs, and then we have vendor sponsors, because if a golf course couldn't afford this, they can always approach their sponsor, and the vendors will always want a public image to, you know, for the kids to bring home, and you know, they will go through all these coloring page, and they will see a picture of Carptro, and they will see a picture of Toro, a John Deere, okay. and they will say, oh, I recognize this brand. It connects them with a great impression. So, so the t the tour players is one level, and yes. you're going to be attending events. Yes. Oh, absolutely. Yes. Every event that we went to last year, we have been invited back. That's how positive that they thought of us. Yeah. So we're again going to um, John Deere event. I don't know if Mr. Studeman's here, right. but we're going there, and we're definitely going back to Cooking Loans National okay. because M Mr. Britton was graceful right. enough to take care of everything for right. us, and hopefully, hopefully, we'll there are some events going to Long Island. Islands and we'll work on that. So, as well. so uh, golf course managers were one group of people, but you threw in GMs there. Yes. Let, let's let's talk about. Is, is there something specific? Do you do something different for a general manager than you might do for a superintendent, or do you feel like you can do something that brings them together? Absolutely, because we all at the end of the day we all have one common goal. We want to grow golf. We want to grow the game, and we want to advance it. And we because without golfers we won't have a job. And GM GMs of all people they want their membership to thrive. So again, that's why we're connecting this with their membership because when we're working with this with their membership, membership feel that this golf course is their home. And once they feel golf course is their home, they will not leave. And every single G 
GM will love that. And we even put our GM's picture here in the Nature Golf bingo. And we have GM's picture and superintendent's picture and our head pro Brian's picture. The head pro. So Is you he can open a sweater. <laughs> oh, that's a bad joke. That's a bad joke. I will vote his sweater. So let for him. me get the last part of this fit, fit in there because you went through it quick. Yes. You're, you're providing the opportunity for even people who are demonstrating here on the show floor to be involved in this, and it looks like, I, I, is this the one that has the carb troll thing in it, this, for example? So Let's this look is at the that. one that has the carb troll. So this has the carb troll thing in it, right? Yes. So here you have uh, a caricature, yes. a very easy to understand way that you can explain how certain technology works on the golf course, right? Yes. So how has this been received so far by the people? It looks like Carb Troll sort of went for it. Is Toro done the same thing and you're I, seeing Toro yes, mowers on I here hope, as well? Yes, absolutely, I hope so because that's what we're using red. And well, because especially brands like Toro, Bayer, John Deere, they all have public consumers brand as well. These are household names yeah. that, so the spectators come into the tournament and they see these brands, they're gonna go home and thought, okay, if these brands are trusted by the tour players, by the tournaments, it's good enough for our home. Okay. So we so, want that. So I love when you say you're doing this to grow the game, not just to highlight the environmental issues on a golf course or the wildlife on a golf course or get young people involved. Hand in hand. How do you think this translates? So let's go off book here for a little bit. You're getting all these young smiley faces. We're looking all into these happy kids. Are you seeing anything that's suggesting they're going to play? Absolutely. Right? Are they going to play? So these are the events that we did for uh, the I was tasked by this, um, the Ministry of Education of Taiwan, and we created one for the Taiwan Ministry of Education. Hmm. So these are all the kids that have never touched, picked up a golf club before. And they came to the club, have a field trip, and it's a little bit like the first green event, and they learn about it. We planted, so we are doing science experiment, okay. and we are, we are planting seeds of, so this is what we're doing, super hot, 110 degrees that day, and we are planting um, plants that are, so there's this butterfly, it's called purple crow butterflies, okay. and they need these plants to survive. So the golf course donated this lot to make this a purple crow butterfly's home. Oh. And after this, the, the kids started to look around and they thought, oh wow, golf looks like fun. Otherwise, they would never have a chance to go see a golf course. They would never have a chance to pick up a club. And they definitely, definitely want to come back. And this is something that we did at Beth, Stage, Beth Page State Park. Right. And this is an event sponsored by Bayer, the Feed a Bee program. The pollinator initiative, yes. right? Yes. So we're planting all these for the pollinators to let the kids. So they're so excited. That was in April. And we invited them to come back in July when everything is thriving, when everything is in bloom, and they get to tour around the course. They, got, they want to see the first tee and see how people tee off, and they love it. Well, you know, this is very timely, because last night at the opening session, Red Evans announced the increasing partnership between the GCSA and the First Green Initiative. Yes, absolutely. And the connection that we're trying to make with STEM education that's yes. gaining momentum yes. in the schools around. Absolutely. So this looks like it's for all, I mean, it obviously looks like it's for very young kids, right? That is and a good time kids. to get it. And are you doing something for the older kids absolutely. as well? Absolutely, we are on our education board, we're our experiment advisor, he has a mechanical engineering degree from Yale University mm -hmm. and an aerospace engineering degree from Prince, uh, PhD from Princeton University. Not as good as Cornell. Of Not course, as good as Cornell, okay. but okay. the third best we'll in, the, in the big eight. But yes, so he will help us design all these experiment material to work with a STEM project. And I don't want to put words in Mr. Red Evans' mouth, but I think he likes the idea. He's not around? Okay, I can put words in his yes, mouth. He likes good. the idea. He likes the idea. <laughs> and we are now at the witching hour, Delphine. Look at how fast 15 minutes went. Oh my gosh, I have to give a shout out. Well, I've already given a shout out to my husband, but I want to give a shout out to my mom. There's an earthquake in Taiwan. I hope everyone is safe. Okay. Hi, mom and dad. Okay. Well, we're very hopeful everybody's safe in Taiwan, yes, especially they, all those young people that you yes, interacted with yes. and are trying to help us grow the game. What a great piece of work you are doing. To watch Thank it evolve you. from what I saw you doing at Audubon, to see it really blossom like this so is, is a great joy to watch. And 
while we wrap it up, we can get ready for our Oregon Birdhouse story that video will, yes, that we're going to transition for that. to. Yes. And I think when we come back after the break, we're going to have some live birds on I stage think as so. well. Yes. Delphine, thanks so much Thank for joining so us. Thank you so much. Congratulations again. Lance here, as a proud former Newfoundland owner, <gasps> you I'm so are? pleased How to come see we you didn't name talk the dog after Newfoundland. Thank you. Thank you for joining us on GCSA TV Live. We'll be back in a minute.